Hi everyone and welcome to St George's Hospital's virtual fitness for function class. We really wanted to make sure that you're still getting your physio, so we've moved to YouTube to make sure that you're not missing out. Today we're going to be talking about goal setting. So we need goals to give us something to work towards, and if we don't have them, we tend to find that we lose motivation. Goals enable us to make an action plan, to work towards something that's meaningful to us in our day to day life. You and your physio would have talked about areas in your life that are affected because of your pain. And if we can help you to build your strength, your balance, your fitness and your flexibility, hopefully we can make these tasks much easier for you. These specific areas of your life are what build the foundations of your personal goals. The most important thing about setting a goal is that we choose something that's meaningful to you. But we do tend to overlook goal setting on a day to day basis. So we use the SMART acronym to help us build them. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic and Time-Based. So once you've chosen something that you would like to improve, it's really useful to actually break this down and make them even smaller so that you tend to have more wins and victories along your rehab journey. For example, if your goal is to be able to get up the stairs more easily, breaking that down into just doing one step at a time is going to make you feel more motivated. Once we've chosen what we would like to achieve, unfortunately, we can't just expect them to happen. We need to put something in place to make sure that you're achieving your goal. In our last video, we talked about the general benefits of exercise, and these components can be used with our goal to make sure that we are building a programme that works for you to help you get there. On top of this though, we do find that there are barriers in people's day-to-day -day life that can make it really hard to stick with their plan. Some of these barriers include income, knowledge about what you're doing and the exercises, concerns for your safety or risk that you might perceive, time that you might have, your personal taste in activity or exercise, the view of your family or your friends, your reduced fitness or potentially a disability, or even having low self-esteem. Have a think about some of these components and see if any of them resonate with you, because if they do, they might be something that we need to build a plan to help you with to make sure that they don't get in your way and that you can improve your quality of life. We've linked some really useful videos and resources down in our description box. So if you're interested about learning more, please go and have a watch of them. But for today, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.